Good morning, children. Today I am going to teach English language. Lesson number ten: the use of V three. The use of V three. Lesson ten: the use of V three. For an action. that began in the past and is now finished we use has or have plus v3 we use has for he she it and a singular subject he is singular she it are singular subject have for i we you they and are a plural subject for example he has learned his lesson he has learn this lesson girls have read home girls have read home they have seen this film they have seen this film mother has cooked food for us mother has cooked food for us now in these four examples has and has have they are singular subject have and have are plural subject in sentences with has have plus v3 we don't look at the time of the action we look at the result in sentences with has and have plus v3 we don't look at the time of action but we look at the result for negatives we use not after has and have like example he has not learned his lesson now we have put not after has girls have not reached home again here we have written not after have girls have not read home they have not seen this film again not has come after have they have not seen this film they have not seen the film mother has not cooked food for us mother has again not after has has not cooked food for us so there are short forms has not becomes hasn't short form of has not hasn't have not haven't fill in the blanks with the v3 form of the given verbs with has or have the first one is given the sun has risen rise becomes risen i have 
read this book because third we have done our duty do becomes done she found her purse he has sold his car he has sold his old car they have spoken the truth they have spoken the truth you have made a mistake you have made a mistake the lion has caught the mouse the lion has caught the mouse my brother has gone to delhi my brother has gone to delhi the teacher has taught this lesson the teacher has taught this lesson rewrite each sentence as a negative using short form and the first example has been done. it has rained today it hasn't rained today i have taken your book i haven't taken your book i haven't taken your book third we have spoken to him we haven't spoken to him we haven't spoken to him the peon has rang the bell the peon has rang the bell she has done her homework she hasn't done her homework she hasn't done her homework Tina and Piku have gone to school. Tina and Piku haven't gone to school. Tina and Piku haven't gone to school. Now children of class D I am sending this English language lesson number 10 the use of v3 given on page number 66 for an action that began in the past in the past and is now finished we use has have plus v3 we use has for he she it and a singular subject we have we use have for i we you they and a 
to the subject. For example, he has learned the lesson. Mother has cooked food for us. Now he and mother are singular subject. Girls have reached home. They have seen this film. Girls and they are plural subject. For negatives we use not after has and have. Like suppose he has not learned his lesson. Girls have not reached home. They have not seen this film. Mother has not cooked for us. Now here he and mother are singular. Girls and they are plural. Short forms has not become hasn't. Have not become haven't. Now here are two exercises given on page number 67. Fill in the blanks with B third form of the given verbs with has or haven't. Now the words is given your rise to become risen, read becomes re read, done, found, do, find, sell, speak, make, catch, go, teach. Now do all these exercises in your English grammar copy, language copy, in a very neat handwriting. Thank you children.